you. I'm Lee Suss. Welcome back to Armored Warfare. Well, last time we did some British vehicles, uh, but I can't do any more for now, sadly, because I haven't got access to any of the others. Hopefully in the near future, I will do, because if I go to the dealers, if I keep saving up my pennies, well, I've spent a lot recently, I had loads more than that. <laughs> I must have... What have I been buying? I don't know. Let's get a shishkin. Over here, I have... Um, no, come on, mouse, behave yourself. The Challenger one. But it's going to cost me six million bitcoins to buy this. You know, I've got the Chieftain, I've completed that. Um, and I've got a Bradley, so I've got a level six. And I can't buy a level seven yet. I need to save up some more money. Well, every time I buy a new vehicle, I um, I spend money like this one here. I spend money to, to, to upgrade it. So, never mind. We'll get there eventually. So, instead of that, let's do another vehicle doesn't get as much play because, you know, it's one of those ones you do and then you move on to something else. I recently finished this one off. This is the, the Sheridan, okay? We're off to the good old US of A with the Sheridan. This is a fully upgraded vehicle. I recently moved up to the, uh, Begleit Panzer? I don't know. No, I'm sure that's the correct pronunciation. I, I doubt that it isn't the correct pronunciation. <laughs> sure, whatever. So I fin recently finished one up. This one's got a few more upgrades on it as well, but it's an odd vehicle. It's an odd vehicle. So... I think it's a 152mm cannon, this one on here. I think at some point, someone went, bigger is better. The Americans aren't known for that, of course. But bigger is better. And they put a grand, down great big drain pipe on the front of this vehicle. And they said, well, you know what? We'd like to, with this sort of vehicle, these these light tanks, we like to, to fire um, guided missiles and shells at the same time. So rather than having two launches, <laughs> no, no, no. We'll have one. We will use, we will use the same pipe for launching uh, shot, at least heat, at least heat is in there, that's good. Um, shells and also oh my god, um, any tank guided missiles. The problem with that, there's various problems, you can look it up on the wiki to see what the, what the issues were, but the main problem is it takes forever to, to reload this thing, absolutely forever. It's, it's a bit like the Scorpion and it's an, it's an odd light tank. It is not, doesn't operate the way I want, I like light tanks to operate. Okay, and the way that I think they should operate. Uh, in the world. So we look at the stats over here. Just have a quick look. I don't do much with stats, but just look at the stats. Um, where is it on here? Reload time, 11.97 seconds. Right? That is with two upgrades to specifically increase the rate of fire. So it would be worse than this. And that's, that's his, this is the shells. It's not the guided missile. The guided missiles take forever. So in fact, I don't even take any. Because they just take too long to reload. The, 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 we'll see, well, I'll show you how the cannon performs reloading. Um, and then you can judge, you know, if you if you think it's worth having the, the missile in there. Because switching ammo is always an issue. You often need to switch ammo to use the most appropriate one, especially on the harder. Once you get to level 5 and above, you've got to use the right ammo at the right time to stand a chance. We're just wasting your, wasting your shots. But it isn't re you don't really have the time and uh, uh, flexibility to go and do that kind of thing with such a long reload time. Let's get in here. What we'll do after this one, after this one, we'll go and play one of the other light tanks that I think is more like a true light tank and we can see the difference. Okay, nice big open area. What have we got? BMP1, we've got, we've got not, not a bad mix, we've got a, we've got two main battle tanks, one of them's a level 3, T62 is a good tank though, it's a real bruiser, I like that one, oh bang, we've got artillery, and we've got an IFV in there as well, and we've got me as the light tank, which means I should be, by the way, much like the British vehicles, very tall, uh, we should be running from cover to cover, giving them a little jab, and then dashing off again. That doesn't really work very well with the Sheridan, unfortunately. Black Company, there isn't any time to move. The PLM is deployed. Reload faster, guys. It's a strategic location that is essential for travel through this region. Do not let him gain a foothold here. They're still going yes, I am hiding behind things. We're a very tall vehicle, I've got to stay here. You hit them really hard, okay? It's a big gun you've got. 
and you do smack them very, very hard indeed. Reload faster. Often when you hit something, it really stays hit. But the problem is, I can't... What I would like to do here is zoom forward and scout and take advantage of the situation, the gap in the back, to do more. But I can't. I nearly killed you in one shot. Because I'm too easily spotted. And if you still have killed him, come on, kill him. He just takes... Oh, damn it! And it's, it's even more telling when you miss a shot, because I now know I've got absolutely forever to wait for my reload. And it's not uncommon to find yourself in a pressured situation where you're hiding behind a corner. Let's go and punch smack him. Let's go and drive into him. <laughs> he did it anyway. Um, hiding in a corner because you're waiting for your gun to reload. It's a real shame. Right, we're going to wait here. Oh, we're going to do a bit of capturing. We're not going to do the capturing, right? We're, the capturing is on the right hand side. We're defending. That's what we're doing. We're defending this area. I'm worried about leaving here because I, I, sometimes you get vehicles travelling in here later. This lot want to rush ahead and go and do stuff. But I'm happy to wait. I believe it's even harder when you haven't even got the uh, you haven't got any upgrades on the vehicle yet. So there are some maps where I've done extremely well. Some of the city maps I have done extremely well. I have got loads of kills. Because I can take a few hits, I can hide if I know the map, and I can hit things so goddamn hard. But on so many maps, it just it becomes very frustrating because you find yourself outclassed all the time. You got him. I wasn't sure I was going to hit him there for a second. Reload faster. was clearly on! And it, it, it suffers from the same problem with the Scorpion with a lack of accuracy. I'm sure I aimed that carefully there, but never mind. Maybe not. Let's say that I was just being rubbish. Yeah. to shoot something and kill it. Hey guys, don't mind me. Desperate to get a kill. There's some stuff up ahead I think I can shoot. Oh, one second. No, 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 no. You've gone too far. I was thinking they're going further that way. I missed the right turn. Now he's being a duffer. Me! Get <laughs> capable of driving this tank. I'm looking at things other than the uh, where my vehicle is going. Oh, I'm just dashing. Oh, it's so frustrating. When you're dashing all over the place and don't need to be getting anything done. I wasn't sure that you'd have time to get those stations back. Oh, should we get spawns over that side? So it's an okay vehicle. I found it a little frustrating to play. And I'm glad to move on to the panzer that I have now. Uh, to the dry dock. 
Let me shoot something. You can shoot me a little bit as well, I don't mind. Okay, that way I guys. Fine. Let's go do stuff then. Someone knows the map. The inaccuracy also means that I take a bit longer over every single shot because I know it's far more likely that I'm going to miss unless I'm absolutely super certain that I've got eyes on them properly. <laughs> Let me kill something! No, no kills for me. What? Where? There. Hi! When you hit them, at close range you hit them really hard. You know? But it's not... It's like a full work, shotgun Lassie. blast of the face at we close range. So although it does really, really well in certain situ uh, situations, it's not a good all-round tank. It's frustrating. I should really stop playing tanks I don't like very much. <laughs> and there we go.